in the case of a perfectly inelastic collision, we have two perfectly inelastic bodies, which means once these bodies are deformed, they do not have any tendency to reform. And hence, once they have collided, they will not tend to reform or push each other, and hence travel as a single body. Although the conservation of momentum is valid in the case of a perfectly inelastic collision, since no external forces are involved in this process, the conservation of kinetic energy is not valid because when these bodies collide, energy gets transformed or kinetic energy gets transformed into various other forms. When they collide, if there is air around us, then they might uh, produce sound and hence energy is lost as sound. Once they have collided, energy might be lost as a radiation or heat. Or once they have collided, if the collision is between two atoms, then they can collide to form a molecule and hence energy is lost in the binding energy of the two molecules. Since the conservation of momentum is valid in the case of a perfectly inelastic collision, we can simply find the final velocity of these bodies by using the conservation of momentum, something like this. And now since we know the final velocity of the bodies, we can find the loss in kinetic energy of these uh, bodies by subtracting the kinetic energy of the final body which is m1 plus m2 from the kinetic energies of m1 and m2 the initial kinetic energies of m1 and m2 let me call this equation number one and let me call this one equation number two now what i'm going to do is subtract capital v from equation number one into equation number two and then solve for the loss of kinetic energies of these bodies. 